I'm Randy Charney, and I joined the Schusterman Family Foundation in 2013 as a research associate with no professional experience in K-12 or higher ed. I began to learn the intricacies of concurrent enrollment in our state, the policy limitations preventing expansion to early college high schools, and the current work in the space by TCC. What I found most astonishing was how siloed these two worlds of education were, despite all the collaboration to allow eligible high school students to enroll concurrently in college courses. While the initial goal was to broaden the bridge to college by eliminating the highly restrictive definition of eligibility, only students of exceptional ability, the next iteration and greater challenge was to design an early college pilot with an intentional focus on enrolling traditionally underserved student populations, such as first-gen students, students of color, and low-income students, regardless of prior academic performance, something that hadn't been done on this scale in Oklahoma. Any early college pilot would require marrying two very different types of organizations. TCC and Union at the time were never shy about offering concerns and expressing their lack of trust of the other. The earliest meetings laid bare the strong differences of opinion on what it would take to establish a thriving early college and where responsibilities lie. A trip to two peer institutions in Texas who had been doing this work for years opened our eyes to the real possibilities and allowed for the potential partnership to cross the, th the threshold and warily say, I do. The pilot launched in January 2018, and we have all been sharing, communicating, and learning ever since. Union's relationship with TCC began in 2010 when we jumped into deep water together to offer concurrent education classes on the campus of Union High School. I think that's important to mention because it helped us create a college-going culture a college-going mentality among our students, families, and team members. It also taught us where to build bridges between union and TCC, between high school faculty and college faculty, and bridges between high school content and college content. An example of those bridges is the transition courses, Algebra 3 and the English transition course that have brought our students so much success. At the outset, offering concurrent education courses on the high school campus, TCC included a high school math transition class to college algebra, which is a serious gatekeeper to completing a degree for first generation or low socioeconomic students. Algebra 3 prepares students for the algebraic reasoning and the trig found on the ACT and the PSAT. At Union, 1,049 seniors in high school have taken this class over the past 10 years. And 1,020 of them, or 97%, have finished the course with a C or better. I mention this because the pre-calc course, more than any other, boasts the diverse enrollment and has propelled the most first-generation college students and students who face socioeconomic barriers into post-secondary education. And it led us to the necessity of early college high school. As a result, Mary Contrell and her team have created a transition English course for students who want to take Comp 1. Our first cohort in early college high school let us know this was a very challenging course. Then they turned right around after taking Comp 1 and told our students in cohort 2 that it was the best prep preparation they could have had for Comp 1. Composition 1 and College Algebra are two high hurdles prospective college students have to clear to be degree earning. As public educators, we all want to believe that our kids have been prepared, but these transition courses allow our students to take the content they have mastered in high school and blend it with the non-cognitive skills of time management and self-advocacy necessary to be successful college students. We realized early on that we couldn't just place 10th graders into college classes and hope for the best. Uh, the early college high school models that we looked at began preparing students as early as 7th grade. Um, and obviously faculty really need to be part of efforts to rethink the pathway that students take to become college ready at such a young age. One of the reasons I'm so grateful to be part of the Early College High School Pilot is because it's created opportunities for high school and college faculty to learn from one another. Some of what uh, the high school students need uh, to prepare for college is content specific. 
but research shows that students also lack non-cognitive skills, uh, how to manage their time, how to take notes, those kinds of things. We decided that that ninth grade year could help students develop those skills by requiring a year-long college preparatory class. Thanks to the generosity of the Schusterman Foundation, uh, a group of Union High School faculty and TCC faculty worked together to create Introduction to College. It's a year-long class that all the early college high school students take. Um, and right away, I saw how valuable it was to work with high school faculty. We created a great class and we learned so much from one another. Uh, just as an example, one of the units is understanding college culture. And everyone knew going in that high school and college are really different, but I think it's safe to say we now have uh, a much better understanding of those differences. Uh, we've also had opportunities to exchange ideas with high school faculty who teach in our subject area. My colleague, Lori Mayberry, a TCC math instructor, modeled the importance of this discipline-specific communication years ago when she began working with high school math faculty to prepare students for their college-level math course. She created a transition math class that focuses on the skills that students tend to lack when they get into math 1513, and uh, she's just had tremendous success with her program. So uh, English faculty created a similar sort of class, a transition class for students for first semester English. Both of these transition classes are part of the early college high school pilot and they've helped faculty as much as students. And just as an example, uh, many high school English teachers think it's really important to emphasize MLA format, but most of us who teach college English want students to understand the concept of documentation. We're not that concerned about uh, strict adherence to the format. Um, on the other side, uh, I now know that when my students say that their high school teacher never taught them whatever, uh, I have a much better idea of whether that's true. Of course it's hard. It's supposed to be hard. If it was easy, everyone would do it. Hard is what makes it great. Jimmy Dugan, the famed or infamous baseball manager in a league of their own, may not have always made the best life choices, but he nailed this little piece of wisdom. Merging two organizations steeped in their own rich cultures tore at the seams of some of our practices. What we at Union had always done to be compliant with state regulations, to serve students, and to communicate with families sometimes conflicted with what TCC had always done to be compliant with state regulations, to serve students, and to communicate with patrons. It took us a few years and several runs at compromise to drill down to the common denominators in those two sentences, our students. A great example with which you will all be familiar is high school eligibility. Every week, high schools in the state of Oklahoma ensure that our student athletes and performing arts students are in good academic standing. Each district has a set of protocols and procedures to collect grades and adhere to the Oklahoma Secondary Schools Activity Association regulations about participation. When we requested our TCC members to also report grades to us, we recognized a conflict. Practices and regulations around FERPA and our college instructors' academic freedom, two things that are as equally important to TCC as academic eligibility is to us, stood as pretty tall barriers to Union High School, being able to ensure that we were in compliance. To be honest, it was a major source of discomfort each time we met. However, because we kept meeting and we kept discussing, we soon realized that both organizations held the chalk, and we were able to adjust our procedures within our organization so students, one, developed a gradual sense of personal responsibility, and two, received support in a timely manner. The partnership served us well again when we needed to switch our daily college schedule on the high school campus to accommodate the needs of our best adjunct instructors. The more we realized finding the sweet spot made everything better for our students, our common denominator, the more valuable our bi-monthly meetings have become. And it was hard. But like Jimmy Dugan said, that's what makes it great. Our meetings are not without problems today, but the communication is open, 
the common denominator is clear and our purpose united. Oprah Winfrey said that great communication begins with connection. The early college high school pilot partnership began with a basic common connection, the desire to help students reach their educational goals. But the marriage of two very different types of systems, even with a common connection, takes work. The approach our leadership team has used to learn each other's institutions, appreciate the differences, and find solutions is communication, open and often. Open communication puts you in your partner's shoes, and it also lets them into your world. It is listening to understand, not to be heard, and it takes commitment. But because of this, we are no longer strangers to each other's loads, laws, processes, and yes, warts. But this creates a relationship that fosters trust, compromise, and improvement. Some challenges look like towering walls built of these two opposing cultures, but they can be scaled. For example, the high school and the students needed a way to comply with OSSAA reporting, but the college complies with FERPA and protects student records. So on the surface, these appear to be competing demands. But because we focus on our common connection, student success, we're willing to take the time to understand both perspectives. The solution, a grade to date column in Blackboard and a voluntary early alert email that complies with FERPA, helps college faculty and assists the high school staff and students with OSSAA eligibility. In other areas, there are fundamental differences. For example, the way absences for outside activities are handled in college. The high school and the college first learn from each other and create a shared understanding in order to best prepare students for the gradual release and navigation of the college system. All of the learning opportunities for students, teachers, and faculty, like the prep year, introduction to college course, our orientations, advisements, and cohort building are informed by our ownership of this new perspective that we create together. This shared identity is early college high school. This has been accomplished through a partnership that's committed to two factors our common connection and communication. Through this process, even our connection, which began as a simple educational opportunity, has matured. Early College High School Pilot provides more than credit hours and diplomas. Our partnership is rooted in a shared belief that Early College High School will change lives. And that makes our second commitment to continue communicating, learning, listening, and strengthening the partnership, a priority for all of us. Since the pilot's launch, I have had the privilege of participating in bi-weekly partnership meetings. At the start, almost three years ago, it was abundantly clear that trust building was going to be a heavy lift for leadership and faculty of both communities. After only a few short months, however, I watched how each team began to listen intently to the other, to learn, to understand, to problem solve together. There was a willingness to be flexible as well as creative. As the partnership meetings developed a rhythm and comfortable cadence, there was a collective acknowledgement that these early college high students are the top priority. Their needs were the most important part of the equation. Trust and respect grew. I learned after the fact that many phone calls and texts took place between bi-weekly meetings and even weekends when necessary to meet the needs of the students. These dedicated professionals have worked tirelessly on behalf of the early college high students and by doing so have developed a strong partnership as a result. After many lessons learned, with many more on the horizon, Continuous improvement to support the early college model requires a communicative, sharing, resourceful partnership. 
In closing, I think it's always important to remember why we do what we do. In business, in education, in philanthropy, the why we do what we do is critical to keep in mind. Why do we need more streamlined pathways to concurrent enrollment in early college? Simply because it allows more young, hungry minds to pursue a life-changing opportunity in higher ed. That's why. <music>